Good morning, Shalom. Welcome to Project 5P. We are out here at this piece of property to assess the rain damage. And the first thing I came upon was this rock slide here. We just got um, for about three weeks straight a total onslaught onslaught of uh, storms and rain around here and we are not used to that we've been in droughts for uh, quite a long time and um, so I came up to this piece of property to assess the damage and I know for sure what I'm gonna encounter in some areas um, I know there's some drainage issues in some areas but just came out here to assess the damage to see all the beautiful green growing uh, but this is the first thing I came upon. This is a For scale reference I wear a size 11 shoes, so this is you know a good five feet in diameter Big old stone looks like it slid out from this cove right here in the dirt and then as we come up this path this road here got a fallen tree this one was already dead so I'm not surprised particularly surprised about this either it's already dead just got blown over obviously or and or the soil was got so soft from all the rain that it just uh, just gave in I think this one was already dead that is Damage number two. Let's keep looking. And I can already see. Oh my goodness. Yes. There is <laughs> my sheds, which had already gotten blown over once. It's okay because they were, I mean, not okay, but they didn't even have anything in them yet. Um, so I kind of expected this because they weren't weighed down, they weren't bolted down, they weren't on any kind of foundation. They were just kind of temporarily set up and we were um, in the process of getting them, um, you know, screwed down to bases. But here's the half a roof of one. And then if you can see this, there are the pieces scattered. So yes, obviously very high winds. And like I said, three straight weeks of just downpour and flooding and tons and tons of rain, which we do not normally get around here. And there's another piece of roof to one of the sheds. And again, all those pieces scattered. Let's see. The drainage on this road that I was just, uh, not just bulldozed, but just created um, since the last rain, this is the first, you know, real good rain it's seen, stayed nice. I was kind of concerned about the drainage on this, but it, it did well. I know I will take you to some areas where I know drainage is going to be an issue but there are shed bases there's another roof let's see some drainage issues so here is one area where obviously the drain is just cut into this dirt which i was expecting because this is unfinished and untouched pretty much area of land here but that's nothing compared to this now here you've got some serious runoff issues I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but there is rushing water down at the creek 
which now sounds like a river. Um, and I'm gonna go next to see if the creek on this property is actually running. It hasn't been, I've never seen it running um, since we've been here. Uh, like I said, we don't get enough, enough rain, but you can see the erosion that this caused. This runoff, and this is exactly where I expected it to be because this was not um, finished off to the point where the runoff was really planned and it was leveled properly, but that's at least uh, two to three feet deep in some places and at least, I mean, at least a foot wide in its narrowest spot. Places like this are, you know, three to four feet wide. And then this up here, we're talking about six feet, six to eight feet wide for reference. So yeah, we had some rain. Let me go check the creek and see if that bad boy's running. Okay, we're back. I saved you guys the boring hike to this location. But yes, in fact, the stream is running. I just love that sound. So peaceful. Excuse the bumpy ride. I'm going to take you and try to walk this stream a little bit to follow its path. Yeah, this is unheard of. This has never been even a drop flowing through here with any amount of rain that we've had in the last three years at least. Some lessons learned. Well, not necessarily the lessons. I mean, I already knew these things, but I really wish I would have had water catchment in place um, during these last storms, obviously. And it's on the to-do list. I just don't have it in place yet, but... Having water catchment rain gutters on top of, well, <laughs> not the sheds that got blown over, obviously that wouldn't have done much good, but on top of structures that can uh, drain into uh, IBC totes or 55 gallon drums uh, would have been awesome, but that was not in place in time. Um, other than that, fixing the drainage on uh, the different uh, landing areas, the different flats that we have on the property so that uh, that erosion doesn't occur next year. But again, that was that was to be expected. That, that stuff was, we knew that that wasn't uh, leveled and graded properly for drainage yet. But it held up great. Um, overall, not much damage. And now we're just going to enjoy the blessings of having this stream, uh, this creek running, and try to do better for the next, for the uh, next storms, God willing, that will be coming and get some water catchment in place by then. Encourage you to do the same, no matter where you're at, get some water catchment in place. Uh, even if you live in the city, you don't have to have property for that. Um, you know, rain gutters directly into a bucket, barrel, IBC tote, something. Uh. 
<laughs> Found another little beautiful waterfall area through these rocks that I just wanted to capture. And I see another one up the way there. I'm just going to have to hike and climb to it so I can't keep recording in the meantime, but I'll go capture that one too. Here's another beautiful area. And then right up there in those rocks, you can see it as well too, coming down here. Let's see if I can get closer to that for you guys. Well, here's another segment. It's just beautiful and I'll shut up for a little bit just so you can enjoy the sound. I don't know if you can see that back there, but that water is rushing from up there down through this cavern. What a blessing. Water is life. Store water, folks. Water catchment, even if you have to buy it, one bottle of water with every trip to the grocery store, whatever you got to do, water, water, water. Water is life. Get after it. <laughs> 